39 years ago, everything changed. I'm going to share something that very few, if any of you know about me. It was exactly 39 years ago today, as I'm taping this show, that my life totally changed. It was on June 24th, 1982, my father, a detective with the King County Sheriff's Department, went to interview the girlfriend of a homicide suspect, actually a double homicide. And then moments later, he bailed out, he took cover behind a farmhouse, and a long gun battle ensued. That day cost my father his life. If there is a lesson in my loss and the ones that you've suffered, it may be this. While you're able, do good. Maximize the present and empathize with the borrowers that you're meeting with that are grieving a recent loss or even one from many, many years ago. And throw yourself wholeheartedly into the task that's at hand. Grind it out, sweat, struggle, and then you can savor the rest that is indeed the fruit of your labor and give others the gift of an uplifting statement or an observation of gratitude. The next time someone stops you and says, hey, how are you doing? That's your moment to pump them up. Cherish every memorable conversation that you've had in the past or are going to have with a homeowner and every silly joke that they tell you. Our loss should not leave us stuck in nostalgia, but rather it can push us forward to focus and engage fully in the present moment. 39 years, it seems like a distant memory, and the next moment, it feels like it went by in the blink of an eye, just like it was yesterday. So, where are you going to be in 39 years? For many of you, we're not going to be around, so what about the lasting legacy that you're going to leave for your children, your family, your friends, and the heirs of the homeowners that you've served in the past? With that in mind, go out and treat the present as if it's all you got, because it certainly is.